Welcome to the Pacific eLearning Initiative's Overview Series on Sakai. In this first lesson, Getting Started with Sakai, we will be covering the following. What is Sakai? How to log in? Overview of my workspace. Additional videos will look at each of the tools that Sakai offers in more depth as we follow the creation of a sample class. While the tutorials are designed to follow in a certain order, they can also be used as a reference so that you can focus on only those areas that interest you. The RSmart Sakai Collective Learning Environment, usually called CLE, is a set of software tools that allows instructors, researchers, and students to create websites for collaboration, teaching, and learning. With your Sakai sites, you will have access to useful tools that will help you manage your courses, communicate with your students, help your students collaborate with each other on research and projects, as well as a variety of other activities you may need. Some examples of websites you and others can create in Sakai include fully online classes, where an instructor can create a website that serves as an online learning environment, complete with tools for communicating, structuring, and sequencing learning content, creating assessments and evaluations, and collaborating with student participants. In blended learning environments, an instructor can create a website that supplements face-to-face -face instruction with online tools for teaching, learning, communication, collaboration, assessment, and the use of e-portfolios. Project collaboration sites allow faculty, staff, and students to create websites that work together on academic, professional, and curricular projects. In e-portfolio sites, faculty and staff or students can create sites for building, assessing, evaluating, and presenting examples of their work in a reflective, fully online portfolio. Shared project resource sites, where a project director can create a website in which to make announcements, share documents, other files, or links to other references on the web. In this series of videos, you will be introduced to Sakai and some of the most common tools used to create online or blended courses. The platform is flexible enough to allow an instructor to use it only as a document repository, to host a class completely online, or anything in between. There are a variety of ways to log into your Sakai site. One way is to go to www.pacific.edu, click the A to Z directory, click S, and go to the link that says Sakai Learning Management System. There you will be prompted to enter your username and your password. There is currently no automatic reset feature if you have forgotten your password. If you have forgotten your password, then you will need to contact IT and request that your email be reset. You can do this by going to locksmith.pacific.edu and filling in the appropriate information. Once you are logged into Sakai, you will come to your My Workspace page. In Sakai, each user has his or her own individual worksite called My Workspace. My Workspace is a place where you can keep personal documents, create new sites, maintain a schedule, store resources, and much more. On your My Workspace page, you will see a message of the day, a calendar with links to the assignments and events from various classes, as well as links to your classes and the quick links across the top of the page. To your left, you will see a variety of tools such as a calendar, announcements, resources, university news, university web, profile, membership, preferences, site setup, and help. To go to a specific course, click the quick links above or go to the membership and select the course from there. Though your page will look a little different, it will be laid out in the same general pattern. In the center, there will be general course information. Across the top, you'll have the links to the other classes that you are signed up for. And to your left, there will be a list of tools. In the next video, we will cover the My Workspace tools in more depth and create a profile for the site. We will also create a brand new course. Or you can skip to the third video where we will introduce the course tools.